Well, no doubt this young man is preparing to unleash some devastating kicks on his opponent tonight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr., the kicks on this young man, absolutely powerful. He can do major damage, too, just by landing a couple of them. You've seen fights of his where he lands one kick to the body or one to that lead leg, and you get an immediate welter bruise, really as powerful a kicker as we've seen in the UFC in some time. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. Here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy has one punch knockout power. And when a fighter has that kind of ability, it's always a big advantage. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Lavey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. This is his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 30 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander. Drago Volta! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And oh! Here's a nice inside leg kick. Oh, what a leg kick. Wow, what a back and forth experience. 
exchange. Volkov's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, 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 oh And just like that, the fight is over. Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Yeah, Joe, near perfect technique to land that seminal blow to finish the fight here in round one. And that's exactly the way a fighter draws it up. You don't absorb anything in terms of significant damage, and then you're able to knock your opponent out. So this is exactly the desired result for him here tonight. Watch this again here. Bang. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Alexander Drago So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his